Hello and welcome. Today I will review Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop and also I will show you the upgrade options for this laptop. So this is a gaming laptop, but this laptop can also be used by professionals. People who use demanding applications in day-to-day -day work can find this laptop useful. Okay, laptop looks great, feels great, and has enough upgrade options, which is quite good. But let's first jump to the specs and we'll take it from there. Okay, so the price for this laptop is 1,075 euros, which equals to $1,050. This is the price I uh, found on Amazon Europe, and this is one of the better prices that I could find. So Acer Nitro 5 uh, N517 gaming laptop, Intel Core i7-11800H. This is quite uh, powerful CPU, 8 cores, 16 threads, 4.6 max turbo frequency, 45 watts of power consumption, uh, these are quite good specs for a mobile CPU. When it comes to GPU, we have GeForce RTX 350 Ti NVIDIA with 4 gigs of GDDR6 dedicated VRAM, 17.3-inch uh, Full HD 144Hz uh, refresh rate IPS display, 16 gigs of DDR4 upgradable, 1TB uh, NVMe SSD, killer Wi-Fi 6 backlit keyboard and Windows 11 Home. So. For this price range, I think that this laptop really offers a lot. Okay, but let's see uh, what we have in the box. So we get some booklets. This is pretty much usual. Let's see how packaged this uh, laptop is. And it has these two big bumpers, uh, foam bumpers on both sides, which protect it while in the box. And then it has also a black pouch that we need to take off this laptop. Okay, so here it is, Acer Nitro 5, uh, black but a little bit shiny as well. Uh, it has great design, uh, if you ask me, and it has a good weight on it. I really like when gaming laptops have a good weight, it means that there are some good components, good quality components inside as well, or at least a decent cooling. Let's open it up. Okay, so you can see the palm rest. Uh, both palm rest and LCD uh, back cover have this aluminum feel to it. Uh, but let's jump to the specs. So uh, dual M.2 support plus one HDD slot or SSD slot. And this is true. So you can uh, install here three uh, hard drives. I mean, two M.2s and one SSD. Uh, so three storage units, Wi-Fi, Killer Double Shot Pro, and we have dual fan with quad exhaust port, quite good cooling, we'll check it out. DTS-X, uh, audio and HDMI standard options. Okay, so this laptop really looks well and I also like the keyboard. The keyboard is, is real gaming keyboard. Keys are uh, kind of rubberized, so non-slip. And uh, here we have these two buttons to increase or decrease the, the backlight. Uh, another feature that I really like here Okay, these are the RTX sticker. And, but what I like here is these LEDs. So for uh, your SSD and power on LEDs, which on many models today we can't see or we can't find them easily, here they are quite visible and I like this option. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, see what kind of ports we have on both sides. So here we have USB-C uh, port, which can be also used as a charging port. Uh, this is USB 3.2 port, HDMI, and we have this uh, exhaust port for heat pipes. Okay, here we have audio jack, two USB 3.2s. Uh, we have a standard LAN port, which is a great feature on a gaming laptop, especially uh, another exhaust, air exhaust port. Yeah, so these are two and the last two are on the back and we can see that uh, these are a bit bigger on the back and have uh, bigger holes, so the cooling is even better from this side. Uh, okay, and we have here the last port of connection is our uh, power DC port. Okay, so also once you open it, the hinges kind of hold well. I think uh, the all in all the design of this laptop is is of a good quality. But anyway. Let's see what's in the little black box here. 
Okay, so we have power cable and power adapter. Power adapter is rated up to 180 watts. And this is, of course, a gaming laptop, i7 CPU, power hungry laptop, dedicated graphic card, so it needs enough juice to run and 180 watts will do the job. Uh, you also get a little gift from Acer, so Nitro uh, key holder that you can use, quite good. And here we have your HDD or SSD additional storage drive adapter, uh, which once you decide to install the HDD or SSD, you will attach to it. Okay, we have screws used for mounting this HDD or SSD and yeah, we can see it, HDD upgrade screws. And on the other side here, we can see HDD upgrade cable. For more info, visit the website if you need some help, but usually it's quite straightforward. Okay, let's put everything back to this uh, black box of surprise. And let's see the inside of our Acer Nitro 5 and what kind of options it offers us. Okay, so bottom cover is made of plastic, but still everything uh, has a feel of a good quality product. And we can see those grills, uh, so plenty of cooling is provided for this laptop. Okay, so once open, we can see a quite clean layout. And here on the bottom cover, we can see those thermal pads for M.2 drives, which is quite good option. Okay, nice work, Acer. Okay, and from our first look, we can see our M.2 drive on the left side. So this is our primary M.2 slot with already installed one terabyte NVMe. Before continuing to other slots and upgrade options, I will remove the battery as I plan to upgrade RAM. Okay, that's out of the way. Okay, so uh, on the left side, we have this HDD or SSD storage drive bay, and this is where you can install the additional drive. Secondary M.2 slot for NVMe SSD drives is this one, and uh, you need 2280 size. So this is the same size like the one we have in the primary slot. I will just show you uh, with another NVMe drive. Yeah, so this is what you need for upgrading. And then we have two DDR4 slots. So this laptop comes with two by eight gigs DDR4, 3200 uh, megahertz RAM memory, but I will upgrade it to two by 16 with the same specs, making it into 32 gigs. Okay, and this is a great feature that none of the uh, RAM memory is integrated into main board. So in this way, uh, you can upgrade any way you want your RAM memory as well. If it goes bad, you replace it. You don't need to fix or throw away your main board or the whole laptop because of faulty RAM. Okay, find the angle, push your RAM module and push it down and you need to hear click and that's it. Okay, so now this laptop from the original 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM has 32 gigs of DDR4. Okay, we can see that heatsink is huge, yeah? So it covers all the chips, there are two fans and this is the, the quad aluminum fins that they were telling us about, which really, really makes it uh, much better cooling than if it had only two exhaust ports. Okay, and uh, we can see that everything is pretty much straightforward uh, and except, whoops, okay. So in the factory, someone was slacking because this connector was not connected so properly at least. I will correct this, but this is a minus for Acer. Everything was great so far, but if this means that uh, once you buy a new laptop, you need to open it just to check if all the cables are connected. Okay, this is kind of a 
negative point. Okay, so I will uh, check everything and uh, close the laptop and then just load into BIOS to see if it recognizes 32 gigs of our new RAM. Okay, let's power it on. But first thing is first to connect the cable and the power supply. Power on and F2. After disconnecting battery, we usually have to wait a couple of minutes, but here it is, the Acer logo will appear in a couple of seconds. Okay, and we can see here that we do have 32 gigs of VRAM upgraded on this laptop. So anyway, uh, I hope you like this uh, short review and also showing of upgradable options for Acer Nitro 5. Uh, please like and subscribe and hopefully I will see you next time.